and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brighthop with the epic, awesome, amazing episode of the Messianic Bible Observant Follower of Yeshua Mashiach. Okay, that means we will follow every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahua in Yeshua Mashiach's mighty name. Who is the Savior who came and died for us, who is sent to forgive all of our sins from the Bible, the Holy Bible. Yahua is Yahweh, God Almighty, and Yeshua Mashiach is Jesus the Christ. Well, today I need to bring you a message and this is my first time going live on odyssey so i hope it's working i'm using an app i don't know if it's going to work right or not but i had a dream last night about the future okay however i've not confirmed this dream that you know i haven't had any other signs to tell me this dream is legit this is going to happen but the last time i had a dream like this that was it that was all i got and then it happened a week later and that was when the covid lockdown started when the covid lockdown started i had a dream the week before that all the government buildings were locked down and I was seeing like two prophecies at the same time I was also seeing prophecy of the buildings being broken into here and all the destruction that's going to come from another judgment uh, that's coming and this is something I've learned out of the Bible Bible commentary explains two-dimensional prophecy two-dimensional prophecy is where you see two events and the Bible does it this way you see two events happening but you can't tell the distance of time that they are apart. So as far as the, from the perspective of the reader, from the prophet, from whoever, the events could be happening at the same time. We don't know the time between them. So, for example, if there was a prophecy that Joe Biden was going to be president of the United States, and there was a prophecy of World War I, and we read them together in the Bible, we wouldn't know necessarily the time between those two events. And so that's one of the problems or challenges with prophecy in two dimensions okay so a new fake emergency okay is is possibly coming it's possibly on its way according to my dream okay in my dream the emergency was fake and the government was locking people down and, and putting them in these it looked like they were putting them in these superstructures so I'm going to talk about this a new fake emergency from the government and Center for Weather is coming to America. That's that's what I saw in my dream. It's a fake heat wave. It's like a global warming crisis. It's a fake heat wave. They can limit travel and pro protect everyone from the heat, the fake heat. Uh, they used video effects to make heat waves appear on the TV, television, and it appeared that they leveled the desert land, removing any life and only leaving flat earth. So basically, it might have been bugs and stuff in the soil, whatever. Basically, it's like a parking lot. And this is like anywhere outside of the forested areas in my dream, okay? I can't say how this was going to happen, where it was going to happen, but it was in America. And people were trying to get into the forested areas, and they were worried about this event that was coming. And outside the forested area, just like there was no desert, it was just nothing, just dirt. And I'm going to keep going so I don't get off track here from my notes. People, because I, I did notes after I had the dream when I woke up, so... People hid in the lush forested areas, but outside the forest was desert, and military forces were moving around in mobile cities, kind of like carriers, whether they'd be air carriers or ground carriers or sea carriers or some type of carrier. Um, in my dream, they could fly as well, the flying carriers, but I don't know if they, you know, if they have that yet or not. But that's the way they were in my dream, and they had like domes over them to protect them from the heat wave or whatever. So, um, so let's see here. Military, yeah, mobile cities and new structures like covered stadiums and dome structures were being built in the desert, perhaps to contain the people and tell them to stay inside away from the heat wave and desolation outside because everything was desolate. The ground was desolate. However, I have not had confirmation for the meaning of the dream. Okay, so I open my Bible and say, is this legit? Is it not legit? But the last time I had a dream like this, I saw that all the government buildings were shut down and, uh, and the COVID lockdown order happened a week later. And I didn't have any confirmation of that dream either and I didn't know what it meant. Like as far as the lockdowns because I thought it had to do with the invasion because I was seeing two prophecies at the same time in that dream. And so I thought the invasion had to do with the government buildings being shut down and the vacancies. But uh, there was, I've seen the lockdown and another future prophecy in the same dream last time. This time, um, it could be multiple prophecies because there were other things I saw in this same dream, but I don't think they would make sense to people. Um, 
I saw relate people, um, I guess, in in the forest areas, and they were they had climbing equipment and things, and they were out there enjoying themselves. I saw um, something had to do with a relationship and people coming together. I saw all different things, but the thing that really stood out that made sense in the dream was this heat wave, and I would I would go so far as to call it a global warming um, thing. And the thing about the government and, and all the effects and what I saw in my dream is that every time you looked at the TV and they talked about the heat wave, you saw all these heat waves on the screen that were added. They were effects that were added to the video. They were not normal. They were not natural. And it, it was basically like they had taken video footage of a flame and just removed the flame part and just used the pattern to alter the screen. And one of the nice things about prophecies like this is sometimes it prevents things from happening and uh, what do I mean by that well it, it prophecy can be tricky sometimes so for example um, you can have a prophecy about the direction someone's supposed to take you can have instructions given to you by Yahuwah telling you what direction to take in life that's his perfect will for you you can still decide not to do it I've seen people do that. They've gotten dreams and warnings and visions from Yahuwah, from Yahshua Mashiach, through the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, telling them not to do something, and they go and run and do it, and they reap the destruction anyway. Um, also, uh, sometimes even the evil people make predictions. They make prophecies of destruction, threats, that they're going to do evil things, and when people expose that, like the Jade Helm thing, or the uh, the nuclear explosion that didn't happen in Seattle that was supposed they said was going to happen through all their signs and symbolism. Um, you talk about that stuff and they say, oh, everybody's going to know it's a false flag. Everybody's going to know we're in on it. So sometimes that prevents things. On my old YouTube channel, possibly on my old Odyssey channel, I exposed um, this person that was, uh, I think they were um, Mormon, and they called themselves Humanity Party, and they were going to try to get everybody to vote to make them a dictator of all of America, which would be Canada, the United States, and Mexico, or it could have just been the 50 states, but they wanted to get everybody to vote to make them a dictator, and I exposed that, and then it went away. Um, there was a some sort of a conspiracy, I don't know if it was FBI, CIA, I don't know who was behind it, um, but somebody infiltrated the group called Anonymous, and they started publishing all this really weird New Age stuff, and just baloney. And I exposed it. I think and other people caught on to it. I don't know if they exposed it. And it went away. The videos came down and it went away. Lots of money I must have went into it. Because it looked like they uh, paid to put videos on billboards in New York City. And all kinds of crazy stuff. So somebody had lots of money to put into it. And that's the thing. Whether it's the government or a non-profit agency or whoever. Some sort of power that be. Bill Gates, whoever. They've got lots of money to put behind something they can use that to deceive people. Now, I don't know if this is actually being broadcast to Odyssey right now because it's my first time doing this. Um, what else should I tell you? Oh, so make sure you check out the Should Christians Celebrate Christmas and Easter 2022 Extended Edition video that is published on BitChute and Odyssey and YouTube. Um, go check that out. It's going to show you the real history of the early church and the catholic church and the protestants and america it's going to show you the real history of the lies that were taught and handed down that jeremiah prophesied when he said that the gentiles will uh will wake up they're going to realize that they've inherited lies from their fathers and uh the fathers may not have known but they inherited the lies even if they didn't know even if they're ignorant to the truth and so that video is about that and then later at about 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on my YouTube channel is premiering, and I'm going to try to get on the other channels too, uh, BitChute and Odyssey, probably already is on Odyssey. Uh, there's going to be a uh, part one responding to Robert Morris' Amazing Grace series because someone challenged me and told me if I'd watch that, they'd watch my video on the Christmas. Um, and so they told me if I watched the Robert Morris series, I was going to learn that the Bible says that anybody that obeys the Bible is going to hell. And that that's supposed to be in Revelation. I haven't found that yet. I just watched the first part of the series. I'm getting into the second part. And so I, it took me an hour to address his half hour of part one. 
and so that's gonna be publishing today on my YouTube channel. My second, I had to get another YouTube channel because uh, first YouTube channel, YouTube's threatening to take it down. I can't tell you, at least if this is gonna go on YouTube, I can't tell you what I said on YouTube um, that they said was misinformation um, that would that would get it taken down. I can't even bring that up um, or do the things that I've done that they don't like. But anyways, go ahead and check that out. I'll try to get it up here on Odyssey and on BitChute if I have time today. This is my day for preparing for the work week, for getting my lunches together, getting my chickens taken care of, my laundry, uh, coffee, everything taken care of for the work week. So I've got things to do. My boss asked me to do a job for him today on the side before I go to work tomorrow, and which is fine because Sabbath was yesterday. It was on Shabbat on, on the seventh day of the week, you know, from sundown on on the sixth day to sundown on the seventh day, so that's no problem for me. But um, anyway, so I've got that to do, and someone asked me to review a Linux distribution ISO, and it could become the next uh, J Linux. You know, I don't know. I just use Linux.com, and there are fees. Um, I have to pay server fees, and we're going to try to get it migrated over to a new hosting provider so that the website works right and we can get the website restored that was destroyed by the current hosting providers automated systems and try to get that sorted out and the emails and everything translated over also we're trying to start some new uh, web material so one is called shamareden.com i don't know if that's still going to happen or not but uh, the plan was is to make a website listing everything that comes from the garden of eden that we're supposed to be eating that's biblically kosher um, it's good and it's it's veget vegetation you know fruit nuts all that kind of stuff as far as I know anything that's not been uh, genetically modified at any point in history by human hands so anyways that's the plan and if you guys want to help out with that it's going to be about three hundred and seventy dollars at least that's what it was quoted to me plus taxes or whatever um, the actually the, the total they gave me was three hundred sixty six dollars in some sense but I don't know what it's going to be with taxes so if you guys want to help out, that's like for that'll cover three years. It's a deal. It's a special one-time deal. It'll cover three years instead of paying like two hundred and some dollars to cover one year. You pay three hundred sixty-six to cover three years. So much better deal. And it's supposed to include that price is supposed to include one year of domains, which would be awesome of the domains that we have. And so there's that. And then I've got personal expenses around here. And also ministry efforts and people that are in need of help um, that have contacted me uh, for help with their ministries and with their uh, living expenses and things that they need to survive. So, um, you know, any financial help is appreciated. I'm thankful. Somebody said they were going to send me some money in a comment on YouTube. They're going to send me a little bit. That's great. Um, so, and I've got two jobs. So that should help as long as. I can do those jobs and my employer didn't get sick but thankfully thankfully I was able to complete the Christmas film this week because one of my employers was sick so you know and then the other thing I'm going to tell you with that is that 44 minutes into the film there's a glitch and it, it kept going thank goodness thank you Yahoo it actually completed the video um, it kept stopping there, and I looked online to find out the error code and what was happening. And the other person that I found that reported that said he was using a Panasonic camcorder like mine. Mine's older, and they they kind of they have an eye in them, an iris or an eye, uh, some sort of photo sensor, and that ages, and then it gets worse over time. My theory is that the photo sensor in that camera is actually the size of a full HD photo sensor and not a 4K but it does 4K video. So the 4K videos really don't look as crisp and clean as they should, um, as far as I can tell. But apparently using that camera with the video editing software I have, according to the person that reported online, is the issue. What I really need, but they're so expensive, is like a Hollywood quality production camera. And I gotta make sure it works with a software computer. I also need storage space. Like I could have recorded the Christmas presentation in 4K Ultra HD, if I would have had large enough memory chips to put in the camcorder that I have. Um, so, but, you know, the problem was it was going to take up a whole bunch of space on the chips. And then the other issue was that I had to have lots of batteries to switch out on the camera. Because if I plug it in and the power goes out, it'll just go off. 
So I have to use batteries to make sure that that doesn't happen. Really big camera batteries. And they last about two or three hours. They used to say four hours when they were new, I think. And so basically I just, I need a whole new Hollywood production camera system. Uh, I need heat if I'm going to use the green screen area or big screen. I, I need to be out of here. That's one thing. I need to get out of here. A whole new place it would be nice to do things. My dryer has decided sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why. <laughs> um, the other day it wouldn't work all morning. I did the Christmas thing, got it done, the Christmas presentation, and then the dryer worked. And I didn't do anything to it, so I don't know what happened. The oven here has been doing error codes you can you can see that and I don't have the manual so I don't know what's going on with that and then uh, the microwave that we had some people don't like microwaves so you know maybe they're evil I don't know but it it started doing weird things so all kinds of expenses started cropping up and this is the time of year when the web server stuff is due and I got to pay all the bills for this place and electricity and everything so um, any help is great and mindblender.com forward slash donate.html wall the website's still there, and hopefully we get it migrated over to HostGator. So that's it. Um, make sure that you don't get tricked if the government or someone on TV says there's a heat wave and that everybody's got to stay indoors or they got to come to these mega shelters and all, you know, in a big camp or something and stay locked down. Don't fall for it if it happens. It may, you know, if it doesn't happen, great. But last time I had a dream like this, the COVID lockdown happened a week later. So I don't know what to expect. With two-dimensional prophecy, you don't really know the time. That's the thing. You don't know the time for these events. So um, I can leave you guys with a quick little salvation prayer if you like. Um, and uh, go ahead and stay tuned for everything else today. So let's see. I think my lunch here is maybe about to burn. I'm shut it off. Get a little more coffee. Ah, I get up like 3.45 most days. So the downside to that is the sun isn't up when I get to work, but that's the time when one of my employers wants me at work. So that's how it goes. I really hope this is live streaming. Otherwise, I have to do it again. So salvation prayer. We thank you and praise you, Yahuwah, for sending your son, Yeshua Mashiach, to come die for us. We confess you are Yahuwah, and that you came and died for our sins on the cross to forgive us. And we... we uh, we confess you are Yahuwah. We confess we've sinned against you. We thank you and praise you and ask you for forgiveness and for blessings, for all good things, for salvation, for baptism, communion in your Holy Spirit, and all good things for your word, your will, your way, for training us in the way we should go. We would not depart from it as a good father, as a good Ab, and we would not reap destruction as uh, Second Peter, uh, I believe it's chapter 3, warns us about that those who uh, follow the ways of the lawless we reap destruction. we got to follow every word that proceeds the mouth of Yahuwah. We thank you for training us up in righteousness. I pray people would not have to have destruction to learn that. That they could, they would just know from you and watching others, seeing the destruction of others, they would know that they need to live by every word that proceeds out of the Yahuwah and Yushua Mashiach's mighty name. Above me, what can I think imagine? And it's so strange. The people that criticized me when I was younger told me I need to do what the Bible says. The same people tell me I don't, or have told me I don't need to do what the Bible says. So uh, we really need to get straight on that. I pray you fix it. No more deception, Yushua Mashiach's mighty name. Above me, can I think, imagine. And uh, I thank you that I keep us on the straight path that leads to you that would not go to the left or the right. Um, you put bumpers, walls around us, around the straight path to keep us from getting off of it. I thank you and praise you, Shem Sheikh's my name. Above me, beyond can I imagine. I thank you for criticism and chastisement. It's better to be with people that criticize you and chastise you than to be with people of the world that criticize you because you're doing what's right. Because the world would get up with them and they gang up on you. We don't want that. We don't want to come to any agreement with that. Yeshua Mashiach's name is better to, to live with, to be married to a critic that wants you to follow the Bible than it is the, every word that proceeds out of the mouth of you, every word of the Bible, than it is to be married or be with people and the company of people that are against the Bible, that are pressuring you to disobey it. And we thank you for that. Yeshua Mashiach's mighty name above me. Can I thank you imagine? I thank you that you put into wickedness and those who will not turn back to you, but we pray they would all turn back to their whole heart, soul, mind, and strength and not reap destruction and not fall into it and not go to hell forever and ever and burn the lake of fire. We pray they'd repent, turn to you instead and live by every word that proceeds the mouth of you with their whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. We thank you that you make us completely independent and, and secure, cut off from the systems of man 
that we have nothing to do with the false flag operations or uh, any goofy man-made emergency or crisis or system or anything like that. We thank you and praise you, Shem and Shakes, my name. Above me, we can't think, imagine that would be only dependent on you, completely dependent on you, in spirit and truth for everything. And we thank you for that, new Shem and Shakes, my name. Above me, we can't imagine. Thank you for provisions and help, and being El Shaddai, and being being our provider, our protector, for your grace and all good things, for protection and provision, and forgiveness and everything you give us, new Shem and Shakes, my name. Above me, we can't imagine. We thank you for dreams and signs and miracles and visions and wonders and all good things, and your word and your will and your way and every way you speak to us through creation. Through the people, even even sometimes through the television and and the radio and everything else, we thank you every way you speak to us, every word that proceeds the mouth of Yahuwah. We pray we hear it and follow it and take it seriously. In Yeshua Mashiach's mighty name, and get us out of Babylon, get us out of here. In Yeshua Mashiach's mighty name, above me, I can't think. Imagine, yes, take care of it and bring all of our all of our goods with us, just like when the people came out of Egypt um, and when they came out of other places and in and, and Ezra and Nehemiah and all these things. We pray that we bring. Um, blessings with us and not go out empty handed. We thank you and praise you, Shem Sheikh's my name. Above me, okay, thank you, imagine. And uh, I pray for all people and their children and children's children to receive all these things and follow you in spirit and truth. And we pray, Yahuwah Av, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread every day, not just on one day a week. But every day, at morning and night and evening and all times, you'll be seeking your word and praying to you and having a relationship with you in the fullness of your glory, fullness of relationship with you. And you show me shakes my name above me, I can't imagine. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Lead us not into temptation, being with the people to waste the world, but bring us out and set us apart to be a peculiar, holy, Set apart people, as Peter said. And we thank and praise and you, Shem Shakes, my name above you. Can't thank imagine. Amen. All right. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please share it with your friends. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, mm -hmm. excellent day. Above me, can't thank imagine. And a great week, month, year, and life.